I have some wood from the Dollar Tree and I have my General Finishes Antique Walnut Gel Stain. Now this wood I got right from the Dollar Tree. They started selling individual pieces of wood. They measure 18 inches by about 2 inches and I'm going to apply the gel stain to three of them. I like to use a Gen Foam brush and I'm applying it to the top and sides at this point. Once I had that all covered, I'm going to take my paper towel and just rub in the gel stain. And you can see as you rub in the gel stain, you can see the wood grain better. Now I have these unfinished Jenga block pieces that you can also find at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to take eight of them and cover them completely with the gel stain. Now I'm sure there will be other ways that you can create this. I just was trying to use affordable items from the Dollar Tree that you also didn't have to use a tool to cut anything with. So I went back to my longer boards and I just did the back side of them really quick and then I'm just going to allow everything to fully dry. Once the gel stain was dry, I took my hot glue gun, you can also use Elmer's wood glue, and I'm going to take one Jenga block and glue it on the left side and another Jenga block and glue it on the right side. Now I'm going to flip that so the Jenga blocks are face down. And I'm going to take another Jenga block and place it on the left and right side. So at this point we have a Jenga block on the top and bottom of one piece of the long 18 inch pieces of wood. And I'm going to continue to stack the Jenga blocks. I stacked two more, so we have a total of three Jenga blocks sitting on top of the long 18-inch piece of wood. And then we have one on the bottom. I'm then going to take the second piece of long wood and glue that on the front side. I'm going to flip it over and glue the last long piece on the other side. And now we have this nice thin box that we made from Dollar Tree materials. I have these LED candles that I got from Christmas Tree Shop in this metal ribbon and I'm just going to wrap the metal ribbon on the bottom of the candlestick. I needed four pieces so I just measured one that I knew would fit and then cut three more pieces. Now these candlesticks I got from Christmas Tree Shop for $4.99. They're LED and you just push on the top of the flame and they light up. I'm going to use my E6000 to wrap it around the candlestick. You can just use a regular non-LED candlestick as well. And I'm just wrapping the metal ribbon around the bottom of the candlestick and holding it together with the E6000. And then I just apply a little clamp because it does take several hours for the E6000 to dry. I had cut myself a piece of popsicle stick just so it gave me an idea of where to place the metal ribbon as I did want it about a half an inch up from the bottom of the candlestick. They do not have to be perfect, but you do want them pretty close. As you would notice if they were off once our project is complete. Now this E6000 is great to use on metal. And I just allowed all of that to dry. I have this Woodward, it says blessed. I got a pack of these from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to paint it using some Wise Owl Snow Owl. And then I just want that to dry. I'm going to flip the box so the bottom is facing up. I did add two plain Jenga blocks just for extra support. I'm going to attach my ruler just to help me measure and I'm just going to hold that down with these clamps just because I want to try to get my lines as even as I possibly can. So this is just one way that would help me is to have this held in place. I have a marker and I'm just making a small mark at about the 3 inch and then I'm going to go to the 6 inch, the 9 inch, and the 12 inch. 
and I'm just putting a little dot so that I know where to hammer in my nails. I have these really small nails. I do recommend that you get ones that are a little fatter. This is all that I had on hand. And I'm going to hammer one nail into each mark that we made. So I have four nails. And I'm just going to go down and hammer them in. And sometimes when they're really small, I just use my pliers to hold it until I get it started. I'm then going to glue on my blessed word and I'm going to place it in the bottom right corner of the box. I have some buffalo check ribbon and I'm just making really small bows. You can also buy the pre-made ones. They have them at Hobby Lobby in the small Christmas tree section. I just didn't have enough so I am just going to create my own little bow. And they need to be small enough as we're going to put them on the top of our candles. And there are several ways you can customize this so that it matches your home decor. I'm going to take two pumpkins and glue them on the left side of my box. The first pumpkin has like a material wrapped around it. And the second pumpkin is a little smaller, so I'm just going to glue a Jenga block so that it has something to sit on top of. And that was just a white foam. And I'm going to glue them down with the hot glue. Next, I'm going to go back to my candlesticks and wrap one piece of the buffalo check ribbon around the top of the candle and then I'm going to glue the bow on top of that. The hot glue does not adhere well to the wax so I wrapped the ribbon around, glued it tight, and then glued the bow on top of that. Now I'm going to get my candlesticks and go back to my box and I'm going to stick the bottom of the candlestick into the nail that we hammered in through the bottom of the box. Now I also applied some E6000. And to change the battery on the candle, you just pull on the flame and you have a long tube. So having the wax glued to the base is not going to be an issue. And then I just added some Spanish moss to fill in the base here. And there we go. Now we have this nice candle table topper. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials on our webpage as well. Have a great day.